here's the throttle like this give that a gentle go the back wheels are spinning and we come around here you can see down there I'll go down close see there that um, the chain is moving so it runs around on a nylon slider and just rotates like that all the time I'll back off that one we'll change position I'll move the this is now the pedal the, the pedals that are doing this and they drive the four-wheel drive chain as well we'll come up here turn on okay so the system's on come back around here the peddler I'll just bring this up so you'll see on the left hand side you'll see a graph growing so now we're on um, I think it's tour I don't know what that one is speed and turbo so I've got it on turbo now when I pedal you can see that the chain is revolving around the around the um, slider right so up here just here we have the four-wheel drive engage uh, lever now if I go back and show here this part here this is the four-wheel drive engager so when I change the lever it shifts that across I adjust the lever across and for some reason it's not coming over maybe it's to do with the fact that it's on a stand or something I have no idea to be honest with you it looks like a charm when it's on the ground I'm going to push the chain over and that engages into there and gives me four wheel drive I'm curious to know why that's not working properly To disengage four-wheel drive while you're pedaling, you have to be pedaling, I move the lever across and that works like a charm, disengages four-wheel drive. So if I drive by the throttle, I get four-wheel drive, like that. As you can see, all all wheels are now driving like that so that's all-wheel drive working this motor is now spinning it's the all-wheel drive motor has that small well that reduction gear there that drives through to the other side if I go around here like this drives that output which is a dog clutch so one-way clutch and then drives as you can see through that tensioner and down onto this gold cog here which is a fairly decent size um, and then effectively you go back the other side Come around here pull away a little bit so you can see where my thumb is down here the output into the diff that goes back and drives into the internal of the two blue chain rings 
the external of the two blue chain rings is the drive for the front wheels. So, there's a, an overall view of the whole thing working. The ticking you can hear at the present moment is the free wheel on the cluster. So if I were to turn the pedal assist or the pedals, ticking stops. Okay.